you have probably wondered on occasion how wildlife documentary shooters are able to get such incredibly close macro shots of small insects. Well, one of the ways to do it is through the use of a periscope or probe lens. Lawa has released the full-frame 24mm T14 2x macro paraprobe, a follow-up of the 24mm f14 2x macro probe lens that was announced about three years ago. What makes the Lawa full-frame 24mm T14 2x macro paraprobe even more unique and interesting than the 24mm f14 2x macro probe is that it uses an interchangeable lens tube that allows you to shoot at 0 degrees or 90 degrees. The Lawa full-frame 24mm T14 2x macro paraprobe can cover both standard 35mm full-frame and super 35 image sensors. This makes the lens suitable for use on just about any camera. The lens is available in Canon F, Canon R, Nikon F, Nikon Z, Sony E, and Leica L mounts. There is also a Cine version with a click-less aperture and focus gears in Airy PL mount. The build quality of the Lawa FF 24mm T14 2x macro paraprobe is very good. It utilizes an all-metal construction and it feels solid in the hand. The lens tips the scales at 1.7 pounds or 770 grams. While 1.7 pounds isn't that heavy, you do have to take into account that it's a very long lens so on a smaller sized camera the weight balance can be tricky. Utilizing the 90 degrees tube instead of the 0 degrees tube makes shooting with the lens so much easier. Often with insects or small creatures, they are on the ground which makes it very hard to shoot because of the angle the lens needs to be on. Having this type of flexibility allows you to get shots or put your camera and lens in positions that weren't previously possible with the first probe lens. The rear part of the lens has a 360 degrees rotation mechanism. This allows you to place the lens in the exact position you need it to be. What is nice is that Lawa has placed a 1 quarter 20 thread on the end of the barrel so you could attach your own light on a small arm if need be. The 0 degrees tube is essentially the same as the one that was found on the original 24mm f14 2 times macro probe, however, Lawa has tweaked the optical design. Unlike the 90 degrees tube, the zero degrees tube can be used for more traditional shots where you need to see straight ahead. The lens has a focusing range from 2 to 1 macro magnification to infinity focus. With a 2 to 1 maximum magnification, you can shoot really small bugs or objects and reveal details that cannot be seen by the naked eye. The wide focusing range, from macro to infinity, is useful for capturing both the finer details as well as the background all in one shot. The challenge when using macro lenses has always been trying to follow tiny objects that you can barely see and keep in focus. This is very difficult to do when the error for getting sharp focus can be as little as a fraction of a millimeter. To overcome this, the Lawa full-frame 24mm T14 2x macro paraprobe utilizes a wide-angle design so it can achieve a much greater depth of field at a close distance, compared to a telephoto macro lens. Being able to focus so closely while still having a deep depth of field is a huge advantage for both studio and wildlife shooting. Lawa has made the front barrel of the lens waterproof so it can be used to shoot in and out of the water. The waterproof design allows you to get shots in water and liquid, and it also has the added benefit of keeping fine powders and dust out of the lens. Now, you can't put the whole length of the lens in water. About halfway down the lens, 21 centimeters, there is the USB input for powering the small inbuilt LED ring light, so you can't go past that point. With a 40.8 cm or 16.06 .06 inches long barrel, you can focus really close to the subject but still keep your camera away from the subject. The long lens barrel also allows shooters to keep a safe distance away from animals such as spiders when shooting. Just like with the original probe lens, Lawa has also built in a LED ring light at the tip of both the 0 degrees and 90 degrees tubes. These are powered through a USB-C slot on the barrel. In somewhat of a strange move these lights are tungsten and not daylight. This is not ideal if you are using the light outdoors in daylight conditions. You need a lot of light to use this lens. With a maximum aperture of T14, even outdoors you will need some sort of extra light unless you are using the lens in sunny conditions. The Lawa full-frame 24mm T14 2x macro paraprobe might have a lot of bells and whistles, but that won't mean anything if it can't produce good quality images. Usually, if you shoot with lenses at high T-stops you risk degrading the sharpness of your images, but due to such a complex optical design, the Lawa full-frame 24mm T14 2x macro paraprobe actually performs very well. When you are shooting extreme macro shots, things are not always going to appear sharp because you are looking at incredibly small details. 
the lens certainly performs a lot better when shooting extreme macro shots than it does when used at infinity. If you use the lens as a regular wide angle at infinity it is not very sharp and there is quite a lot of barrel distortion. The lens doesn't have much contrast and it is very susceptible to flare. This is something you need to be mindful of. With such a close focusing wide angle macro lens with a T14 aperture, any small bit of dust, hair, or water can show up on your footage. You really do need to keep the front of this lens as well as your sensor absolutely spotless to avoid this from happening. This is not a lens you want to use handheld for video unless you are running very high frame rates. At super close magnifications, the slightest bit of movement gets magnified as well, so you end up with unusable footage. You really need to use this lens on a good tripod or have your camera placed on the ground. In saying that, if you have a camera that has a very good IBIS, you could potentially get a shot without a tripod. The lens is expected to retail for $2,299 US dollars.